So we talk a lot about state in NLP, and particularly in the way that I work with it. State is the fundamental. It's a critical component to everything that you're going to do. And if you want to talk about how to do magic quickly, how to create change quickly, then learning to work with your own state, managing your own state, and then how to bring that to other people. Uh, quickest, quickest way that you can make things better for yourself, make things better for your family, the people that you work with, all the way across. Principle number one, bring energy to every encounter. What do I mean by that? <laughs> Raise your volume by about 5% just above everything else that's going on in the room. Make your gestures just about 5% bigger than what's going on. Just 5% above what seems to be going on in the environment there. Bring that energy, bring that commitment to every circumstance. And first of all, people are going to want to hang around with you a lot more. This is like, it's a, ma it's a magic trick. People ask me when I'm doing my consultancy work or, you know, we're going to be at dinner later on, why do people seem to just pay attention to you and come over and listen to have to what you say? And part of it is that I bring energy to them. You know, there are some people who are like, you know, energy vacuums, energy hoovers, you know, they walk into a room and they suck all the good feelings out. I'm talking about turning it around so that when you come into the room, you give energy to other people. Your attention, your focus on them, literally creates them, so it's the message. You are important enough for me to pay attention to. And this is, in terms of change, some of my students have trouble with this one because they think they're the most important one in the room. Curiously enough, by turning your attention outwards and onto other people and bringing that energy, as I m mentioned earlier, even though you're giving attention to others, what it does is it creates presence. It makes you watchable. I was having dinner in London in this very fancy restaurant with a politician friend of mine who had heard about what I did and you know, he said, well, it sounds interesting, but I'm not really sure how that works. And so I said, okay. So we're sitting in this restaurant. Uh, it's like a japanese -y kind of restaurant and they had everybody packed in fairly tight. And I said, hang on a minute, I'm gonna do it. And I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the toilet and I want you to watch what happens when I stand up. And all I did was, I just took a really deep breath in, raised the strongest feeling of goodwill, empathy, and certainty that I could bring up. And then I stood up like I was about to make an announcement before the UN. And I just did it slowly. So there's just nothing there, but just very slowly. and got up and what happened was people at the tables all around us turned and looked and my friend who's a politician just went I've got to have that I've got to have that and I said wait till I come back from the toilet <laughs> it's not about you know it's not about you don't have to be the most beautiful person you don't have to be uh, you know the most athletic the most anything you be yourself but you have to amplify it. You have to allow it to come forward. So when I'm sitting in a meeting, I'm giving my full attention to the people who are there. I'm raising the amount, literally the amount of volume, every qualitative dynamic you can talk about, I'm raising it. And what that does is it creates more excitement. It creates a greater sense of presence. Do this in your personal life. If, you know, you're, you do this with your spouse, bring attention, bring energy to your spouse, to your children, to your family, and watch what happens. Watch the relationships improve just like that. If you're looking, you know, people sometimes say, I hear NLP can be used for flirting, and it's not NLP being used for flirting. It's just, it's in the nature of people that if you pay attention to someone else, they feel that they're important. They feel that they're more important. So, I mean, you were asking for tips and stuff, and I'm trying to keep this as simple as possible, and it doesn't require any technical skill whatsoever. It doesn't require any ability to visualize. Raise your energy and turn it outwards. If you add goodwill into that, and I mean that sincerely, interested in what other people have to say, interested in who they are, interested in where they've come from, and maybe one more thing, which we sometimes add into this, looking for what is really cool 
about this person, then you've got a very, very powerful tool. So give it a try. Find out how that works. Okay.